Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Doris. I'm here to show us you about my stock account and today's market update. So let's take a look at today's market performance. Today, um, Apple has closed down. Apple has closed up 0.86%, and in terms of shorting, it has closed downward. SQQ closed up 0.68%. SPY closed up 0.29%, and United Natural Gas closed down 3.69%. Today, the net asset of my account is 69,838.41. Today's PR is a gain of 0.03%. And today, the overall industry indices performed well. Dow Jones Industrial Average performed up 0.37%, Nasdaq closed up 0.07%, and S&P 500 closed up 0.23%. Today, the auto manufacturers um, has performed up 3.85%. And today, let's talk about the economic indicators recently. So recently, Global One report has seen that global demand has shrinked and foreign trade has been the weakest year in 2023. Overall, the German imports and exports fell more than expected in December, falling 4.6%, the biggest drop in a year, with imports falling 6.7%, according to the latest data received by the Federal Statistics Office on February 5th. Meanwhile, after working days and seasonal adjustments, Germany's annual exports fell by 1.4%, and its imports fell by 9.7%. Once again, European Economic Circle have again expressed their concerns about the health of the Europe's largest economy, fearing that Germany could be fall back into a recession. In fact, besides a weak foreign trade, Germany will face multiple challenges in 2024. Sometimes it feels like someone in Germany broke a mirror, leading to several years of bad luck, as, the, as if the pandemic lasts for years. Supply chain friction, energy crisis, and structural flaws were not enough. 2024 began with uh, not with any better turn. Instead, the new year presents new problems for the German economy. Government austerity measures, persistent train driver strikes, and the supply chain disruption caused by the Red Sea crisis. Indeed, the German economy seems more likely to contract again in the first quarter of this year. Overall, um, econ economists have been blaming it on the, the on the shrink of the glo global demand. In fact, German foreign trade has rebounded in. November 2023. In the months, German exports were 131.2 billion euros and at 110.8 billion euros, up 3.7% month on month and 1.9% month on month, sharply exceeding previous expectations. 3.7% was the largest month on month increase since February 2022. However, Ritzky, who had long watched the German market, warned that the November improvement was a sign of technological improvement after long-term disappointing data, rather than a sign of substantial improvement that can last in a long time. Another news that we have we want to cover about the Germ uh, about the European economy is that European Union has been again releasing its treasury bonds. Um, at the beginning of this year. Eurozone has issued a total of more than 200 billion um, euros worth of bonds, and they are expected to reach a record high in the same period, analysts expect. European governments um, now expect uh, 680 euro billions of euro bonds this year, which is 7% more than 2023. Currently, the investor demand is, demo is strong, and the European countries again lift the bond issuance boom. 
On one hand, the high yields of euro bonds are recovering investors into expectation of the world's major central banks to start the rate cut cycle. On the other hand, the current borrowing costs have fell sharply, and the environment for borrow for bond issuance is more favorable. Head of a bond at Bond K Asset Management commented that, commented that despite the widespread concerns that the euro bond so oversupply would be a significant issue this year, the record bond supply in January was still well absorbed by the market. He thinks that, that means that despite the massive bond issuance, demand is still strong enough to have no negative impact from supply. This is all I have for today. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next episode.